Hey guys, what is going on? It's Havoc. Not a fan of introductions. They always sound exactly the same. But today, I want to really tell you guys how you can drastically reduce the CPU usage that OBS is using while you're either streaming to Twitch TV at 720p, 60 frames per second, or using OBS to record 720p, 60 frames per second, or 1080p, or whatever. This fix is specifically for those who have an NVIDIA card. If you have an AMD graphics card, I'm sorry, this will not work for you. However, if there is a workaround or another alternative, I will be more than happy to find out and update you with another video. All right, so with OBS open, go ahead and open your settings and go straight to the output section. Now this is where all the modifications and changes are going to be made and I will talk a little bit about some of the options here. If you don't care to hear about it, I do apologize. Some people do care uh, and I might just make a really too long didn't listen video. Whatever. Anyways, the encoder. By default, your processor is the main encoder. It is using a compression format of X264. That just means it's, it's a smaller compression file size, right? So it's not like lossless where it's just this huge freaking file. And you know if you've recorded gameplay footage at, you know, different um, compression file uh, compression formats like AVI or lossless, you know how large those file types are, right? This is a very smaller compression file type. Uh, and that's what it uses. And this isn't the main issue. The other issues that cause your high CPU usage is your resolution. So, an example, most of us nowadays, 720 is default. If you don't have 720, a lot of people aren't going to watch your video on YouTube and they're not going to watch you stream on Twitch TV. It's a sad thing to say, but it's really kind of the norm now. 720 at least. So, when you get to 720, you either make the decision to stay at 30 FPS or you make the decision to go to 60 FPS. Well, 60 FPS is fantastic, and so most people will probably set that to 60 FPS. Not so much on Twitch side, a lot of the streamers stay at 30, uh, but if you're YouTube, you're going to be wanting 60 FPS at least. That's kind of like the norm on YouTube. Now, when you start asking OBS to output 720p 60 FPS, or say 1080p 60 FPS, or even 1440p, you're going to start asking your processor to work harder than it already is, which means you're going to be using more CPU usage. And at some point, you're going to start to bottleneck yourself. And when you hit a bottleneck, you're going to have poor quality, you're going to have drop frames, and you're not going to get what you want out of OBS. Now, there is one other thing that also has a drastic impact on your CPU usage, and it is, and it is the CPU usage preset. Okay? Now, by default, this is set to very fast, but... This is just from experimenting and, and reading some of the guides on OBS itself. The lower you set this value, the better the quality. However, more CPU usage. So if you're a PC gamer and you're streaming a high a CPU demanding game that's eating a good chunk of your CPU, you if you change this value to something lower, keep it at 720, you're probably going to have some problems. Now again, I've stated this before in my other OBS videos, every computer and everybody has different hardware different, and different specs. You have to test and tweak and play with these settings to find what works best for you, okay? So having this value set lower is also gonna dramatically impact your recording or streaming experience. Now there is, for those of you that stream from a console, like you have an Elgato HD capture card, you can actually probably get away with setting this to at least faster, uh, assuming you have like an i5 uh, or AMD equivalent. It's not a guarantee, but I mean, you could probably get away with that because at that point you're not using any of the resources on your computer. You're simply using your computer just for the streaming or recording aspect. So keep that in mind as well. Now with all that being said, how do we fix this? Where do we start? dropping that CPU usage I was mentioning before. Well, good thing for NVIDIA users because we have a secondary option available to us called the EVENC. Now, it, this is basically NVIDIA's encoder, and this is where you're using your graphics card as the main encoding option instead of your processor. 
What does that mean? It's taking the load off your processor and putting it onto your actual graphics card. Now, of course, with these changes for performance, there's always going to be some kind of, well, catch. Uh, the only thing I have actually really noticed is very minimal quality differences. Now, I feel like the quality is fantastic when I'm using my processor as the main encoder. However, when I'm streaming using my NVIDIA, uh, my NVIDIA option, my NVE and C, I do notice that the quality is a little bit worse. And I wouldn't say, and I say worse because I don't, I can't think of another word to explain it. It's not as crisp as it would be using your processor, but it's not terrible. It's not going to make you want to go back to using your processor because it's actually pretty damn good. And with the right settings, you can actually fine tune it to where you don't have to worry about it looking any different than you having it set to your processor as your encoder. Now, once I changed this option here, you notice that the CPU preset option is now gone, right? But we still have the rate control with the CBR. Now, this is something you need to know. This is, this is important. If you are going to be streaming, not recording, but streaming, you set this value to CBR. You keep it just as is and then change your bit rate to whatever you want it to be or whatever your upload is. If you are going to be recording and now quality is a huge importance to you, you're going to change this value to CQP. Now, each of these values have different meanings and they're used for different things. CQP, which is basically a constant quantization parameter. It's an algorithm, right? Uh, and it pretty much is just, it's basically a video is going to be encoded with a constant quality instead of motion. And I'm going to link a, I'm going to link something down in the description so you guys can read up about it a little bit more, but there is a sweet spot when it comes to setting this value, the sweet spots anywhere between 20 and 25. I like to use 23. Okay. But you will not use this option for streaming. It does not work that way because as long as you're uploading footage, you have to have an actual bit rate. Okay. So you set this to 23. I don't really change anything else in this actual section. Now you can change it to high quality, high performance, etc. If you're, if you're recording, I obviously want quality. So I don't have to worry about low latency, but then again, I haven't really tested on an actual multiplayer game on the impact of this, but I have really good internet. I have hundred down 20 up. So this probably would not be a problem for me. But otherwise, I'd set it to high quality. All right. So once you make those changes, you'll hit apply. Now, notice, notice quickly that I'm on my streaming tab. So if I'm streaming, I don't want it to be set to CQP. I want it to be set to CBR. Now, again, you still have the same preset there. So if you have to test out these presets, see if they have any dramatic impact on you. And if they don't, then fantastic. Apply your settings and bam, you are done. Now, if you're not and you're recording, okay, make sure because you have multiple tabs, make sure you set and you're changing these values on the correct tab. So recording, recording format, MP4. I just keep it on that. You can obviously change it to whatever you like. Encoder, remember, set it to NVNC, NVIDIA encoder. You can rescale your output to whatever you want. This time you get off the CBR and you go to CQP. Now my, my value changes automatically to 23 because OBS already knows that's what I want. Uh, and then of course, preset, eyes quality and hit apply and you're done. It is actually that simple. And the minute you change those values and you do a test stream, you're going to notice if you just look at the bottom of OBS, like if you look right here, where it says CPU 1.7, 30 FPS, like I'm only recording this in 30, 30 FPS, who cares? But if you look at this value, when you're streaming or testing this, you'll notice a dramatic difference. Now, like I said, there can be some quality issues. 
if you're streaming. But I mean, let's be honest about this. Like, if I'm in a freaking forest, green is not uh, green is not friendly. Green is just going to make everything look pixelated and blocky and all that crap. But overall, there's no to me, there's no real huge difference. So I'm actually quite content with these settings. I think that you yourself will enjoy these settings quite a bit as well. If there's something that I missed or I didn't explain, please feel free to ask me and I will do the best I can to help you out. And again, please, if you want more information about the, the presets like the VBRs and the CQP, check the link down below in the description and that should provide you all the information you need. So if I helped you out, that makes me happy. That is my job. I just like to help others. If it didn't help you out, I do apologize. Let's talk. Let's work something out and see how I can help you. Aside from that, guys, thank you for watching the video. You guys have a fantastic day.